Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to turn an old school classic and turn it into a modern day hit song. If you're new, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So what we're going to be doing to turn an old school classic into a modern day hit is called sampling. And sampling is just taking a portion of a song or an audio and then adding elements to it or basically just transforming it into a new or different vibe. And that's what we're going to be doing. And in FL Studio, there are two main ways to sample. You can either sample with the playlist or you can sample with a VST sampler like SliceX that comes default with FL Studio. So we're going to use a mix of both. You don't have to use just one. We're going to use both in this tutorial so you can see the workflow, all right? So right here, I have a song by Nelly um title body on me featuring ashanti and acorn and in the beginning this is how it sounds like so i'm going to sample just that beginning all right so i'm not going to split the entire song because of copyright issues but you can just look it up and hear it so this is how it sounds and the first thing you want to do when you know you're trying to sample a song is look for parts that has a well-defined loop all right that you like that you can play infinitely like a loop and that's easily the beginning right so i'm going to just take my knife tool all right come to none so that i can have a clean cut then just swipe you can see this beginning of the audio form right here i'm going to swipe that when i play it you can see it starts immediately at the sample then i'm going to listen So this part right here and this part are exactly the same thing. So this is where the loop ends. So if I'm going to cut this side to be perfect, so just cut that. And then when I trim it out, let's see if it's a perfect loop. I can see a little bit of protrusion. So I'm going to just, you know, reduce this a little bit. Then let's hear and see now. Make sure there's no glitch or pop when it loops. See, it loops perfectly all right so now we're going to consolidate this track so that you can work on it as a unique audio file because if we're trying to work on it you see still in a full song mode and we don't want that we need to come right here right click where it says track one or whichever track you have it on right click it then come to where it says consolidate this track from track starts all right it's going to highlight the region and if you don't have effects running on it you can just simply render it and it's going to start and now you can see we have the audio file. This is the rendered file. You can see now it's just the sample. I know that this sample may sound like a popular Afrobeat song that you may have heard of. It may or may not be a sample, but this is from the original song by Nelly, released way earlier than the Afrobeat song you may know. So now we're going to work on it. And the first thing you can do with the sample is that you need to match it to a tempo. So if I play it, you can see it's not in a defined tempo. It's just all over the place. So I'm going to work on, let's say, uh, maybe uh, 96 BPM or let's just say 95, 95, 96, that range. All right. So, but it's still not defined. So now I'm just going to double click this, then come to time. Right click it and snap it to two bars because if I come to bar mode, you can see it's two bars. And when I play it now, so let me take out the, the original track. When I play it now, if you notice, you also change pitch, right? If you want to preserve the original pitch, just click this drop down and then come to stretch. And when you hear it now, or you can come to auto. You can see it sounds like a perfect loop now. So you can start chopping it and using it like this, but I want a little bit of more control. So I'm going to use Slice X. And to do that, I'm going to consolidate it again. I'm going to come right here, consolidate this track from track starts. Yes. Because if I were to drag it straight into Slice X with this, because you know it's, it's tempo match, it's not going to be tempo match in Slice X. Okay. So maybe there's a way to tempo match in Slice X. I don't know how to do that yet, but what I simply do is I tempo match it and render it again or consolidate it, consolidate it again. And then you can see it's going to be tempo match. All right, so now I can just load it up in Slice X. Right click this, open in Slice X channel. This is going to give you this waveform and you can control this with your MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to take out this marker. So 
So I want it to be like dun, 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 dun. So these ones will have to go. So delete these guys. Delete these guys. Then let's see. All right. All right. So let's paint that in. Create a new pattern. So we'll take that out and then we'll record. All right. So Ctrl Q. Let's stretch this out a bit. All right. So now let's bring in a drum pattern. Let's create a drum pattern for this. You can start with drums, so you can go straight to chords, but let's start with drums first. So let's say... Let me start with the ring. All right. Let's have it repeating again. All right, so now we're going to play some chords on this, all right? So the original key of this song is in um, G minor, all right? So this is already transposed to A minor, okay? So I'm going to play, try and find the chord progression for this. Let's see. Okay, I think we found the chords. Let's record that in. But of course, we'll make some changes. We'll make some modifications. So we'll quantize this. Let's add a a guitar melody, for example. All right, let's record that in. I think I like that vibe. So you can add effects to your sample. I feel like it's a bit too sharp. So let's use an EQ. All right, then load it up here. Come to EQ, we'll do some high chords. Sampling can be a lot more complicated than this, and it could be a lot more easier than this. But most of the time, if you're just trying to flip a sample to make, you know, a modern vibe, you should be able to do something good with this technique I just showed you. Because sampling, some people, they just produce using only the sampling technique, all right? Sampling is a very, very deep subject in music production. I can't possibly cover all of it in this video, but I'm sure these tips I just shared to flip an old school classic into a modern day hit should be of help. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so that people can easily find this video right here on YouTube. I remember Star Classy. Hit the subscribe button for more tips and tricks. Cheers.